I went with my mother to many grave sites. My mum would say, oh, that's so-and-so consensual. I know the mother, I know the father. There's a story to every single grave. None of the graves at Bidadari were documented, and none of the graves at Chachuang will be documented. So my idea is to photograph or document as much of that part of our heritage. There are so few Eurasian families. I mean, Singapore has about 17,000 Eurasian families. And when we post a picture, say, of a De Souza or Francis or Olivero, there are so few families here or even overseas. So once they see that picture, it makes it kind of easier to say, oh, that was my grandfather or that's my father's father. And it helps them to build a family tree. We've had uh, instances where a few families uh, didn't know where their relatives were, were buried. Through our site, they saw, they saw the posting and they, they now know, oh, it's at Chochu Kang. They said, oh, Sandra, can you tell us where in Chochu Kang, Block 1A, you know, how can we find it? So I would kind of direct them to it. Initially, when I first came out, I realised that not many people know about Eurasian food. And most of them were sceptical about trying our Eurasian food. All the time, they thought that it was not so nice or, you know, somehow or other, they had a little bit of reservation. But when I came out to do this cafe business, I realised that they do appreciate Eurasian food. Today, I'll be demonstrating how to make Pang Susi, which is actually a Eurasian bun. It's made of sweet potato, flour, eggs. For the filling, you can either use minced chicken or you can use minced pork. The original is actually minced pork. When my mum passed away, uh, I felt like uh, I lost a part of uh, my heritage in a way because my mom embodied everything Eurasian. And so I decided to uh, start Eurasians International in honour of her and all Eurasians that have passed away. We realised after starting it, we are connecting with people all over the world. Eurasians from Australia, Singapore, everyone's getting together. People are realising they have relatives in Australia, they are actually going to Perth to meet them. Relatives from Perth are coming down to Singapore and meeting their relatives here. So it's just a really getting together. We started from 16 members and now we have 4,002. The other dish that I'm going to demonstrate is a typical Eurasian signature dish which is called curry devil. The originality of it is the leftovers of our rose from Christmas we will make it into a curry. As you can see from my cafe, I sell a lot of Eurasian authentic things. For example, the fish acha, which most of the people used to go all the way to Malacca just to get that. I'm Mary Gomez. I'm a Eurasian. Uh, cooking has all along been my passion, and I've been cooking for the last 12 years, and I started my business called Mary's Cafe. I've never been one to be interested in heritage. So I turned 50, and I realised that a lot of my relatives had passed away, including my mum. And uh, I suddenly realised that everything that I was, everything that I am, is a Eurasian, it's due to my ancestors, my, my mom, my dad. I don't really want everyone to wait till they become 50 to suddenly realise and have a lot of regrets. We should, from an earlier age, value our traditions, our culture, our you know, way of doing things. We should celebrate being Eurasian. As much as we are Singaporean, we are still Eurasians. I'm Sandra Galliston. I'm a Eurasian. I started Eurasians International in 2017 
connect Eurasians around the world.